Hello friends, how are you doing today? So in this video, we are going to talk about uh, containerization and container orchestration. Okay. So in the last video, we talked about uh, image, virtual machine, container, and the deployment model, how it evolved from legacy deployment way to the modern deployment model, right? So just to recap, image is nothing but your uh, static bundle. It consists of all your software libraries, config files, etc. And virtual machine is nothing but your uh, image with runtime. And container is also your image with runtime. But the difference between virtual machine and the container is virtual, virtual machine has this guest OS. It's heavy. Um, and uh, container has uh, container uses is host OS. That's why it's lightweighted. That's why we prefer container and move on with the container technologies, right? Um, so, in this video, we are talking about containerization and container orchestration. Let's see what exactly the containerization is, right? Containerization is. So, assume that you are running a logistic company. So, if you are a logistic company, what you do, you collect all the containers from your supplier or your uh, um, vendor, right? So, what they do, they put all the stuffs in the container, whatever they want to transport from one place to another place and give it to you because you are a logistic company and you transport those containers by putting everything on the ship. <laughs> Moving from one place to another place, right? Um, so you are doing containerization. Um, your sellers are doing containerization. You are just doing a container orchestration, okay? Uh, let's go with an another example. Uh, suppose if you are um, uh, planning for a trip, um, so what you do first thing is you take some uh, uh, luggage back from your home and uh, put all the stuffs you need uh, to use in the place where you are going, right? So the luggage bag differs from uh, person to person. So if you, you are uh, a man, you have some stuffs to put inside the container, the, the luggage bag. And if you are a kid and you may have some specific stuffs for you to put inside the luggage bag and give the luggage bag to uh, the, um, the person who is going to carry to another place or you take it with you when you fly, right? So you do the containerization because you put all the stuffs what you need inside the luggage bag and um, the container orchestration is done by the flight service or bus service or whatever, okay? Um, so coming to the IT world, what happens, the development team or DevOps team is the one decide what to put inside the container, right? So the development team may think that, hey, I need to include this library for um, making my application to run fine. And the DevOps team may uh, include some of the configuration file which are required for um, running this uh, container successfully on any uh, deployment space, right? So any uh, development team or DevOps team who knows what to put inside the container and who does the process of putting those stuff in the, inside the container is called containerization, okay? So once the containerization is done, uh, the container orchestration will start. So that will be taken care by um, the container admins, okay? In this case, um, Kubernetes is the first tool that has our containerization, container, container orchestration capabilities, okay? So let's see like um, uh, coming back to your uh, logistic company, once the containers are organized in your ship, what happens as a logistic company, you should take care of each container, right? It's your responsibility. Suppose if, if one container fails or breaks, you have to make sure that uh, the container is replaced or fixed, right? And um, you, if you are putting all the containers on a ship, uh, the safety is important, right? You have to make sure that uh, containers are secured and safely located on the ship until it reaches the destination, right? And uh, suppose if uh, 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 a container falls or breaks, you need another space to locate a new container, right? So these are all uh, the responsibilities of a logistic team, right? Similarly, the Kubernetes uh, 
uh, platform service has all these automated facilities to take care of the containers right um, that is called container orchestration so once you deploy the container and spin up multiple containers for your application the kubernetes uh, inbuilt features uh, like uh, auto healing rollout and rollbacks and uh, uh, security so these uh, inbuilt services will take care of your container to run successfully in a cluster okay so kubernetes has all these built in features uh, and uh, also uh, there are uh, managed kubernetes services provided by different cloud service providers like uh, aws has eks elastic uh, uh, kubernetes service and azure has aks azure kubernetes service and um, ibm has iks ibm cloud kubernetes service and uh, Google has GKS as a Google Kubernetes service. So these are all managed Kubernetes services. So once you deploy your container and this, uh, these managed Kubernetes services will take care of uh, the container orchestration capabilities like uh, auto healing, rollout rolling, security, automation, organization, etc. Okay. So these uh, managed kubernetes services are uh, uh, not that powerful compared to the openshift uh, features okay so let's see what are all the openshift fully managed services available for each cloud service provider and the next powerful tool that helps you to do a container orchestration is openshift okay so what is openshift openshift is built on top of the kubernetes Kubernetes has inbuilt feature that we talked about, right? Auto healing, rollout, rolling, security, etc. Right? So those features all there in the OpenShift as well. But uh, including those features, OpenShift has its own features like rich UI, CI/CD, automation, uh, all other features uh, making this OpenShift as a powerful uh, container orchestration platform. Okay? So. Uh, if you want to keep in mind that uh, how this OpenShift differs from Kubernetes, imagine that uh, Kubernetes is Robo, where the superstar Rajinikanth acted in the film, and uh, OpenShift is Robo 2.0. A lot of features, including all the features of Kubernetes. Okay, so uh, every cloud service providers like Amazon, Azure, IBM Cloud and Google Cloud, they have their own uh, fully managed uh, OpenShift uh, services, okay. So Amazon has like um, Rosa, this is a Red Hat OpenShift service for Amazon and uh, Azure has Aero is a fully managed service that is nothing but uh, Azure Red Hat OpenShift and um, IBM has its uh, fully managed OpenShift uh, service called uh, Rocks. It's a uh, Red Hat OpenShift Kubernetes uh, service, okay? So, uh, to summarize, containerization is uh, the process of adding what you need into a container as a development team or uh, DevOps team, right? The containerization uh, uh, is uh, done by the development team or DevOps team. And the container orchestration is nothing but managing your container, orchestrating it your container with all built-in features provided by Kubernetes and OpenShift, automate your container deployment, op automate your uh, uh, container uh, uh, security, and uh, take care of all the, all the features needed for orchestrating your container. So for, um, uh, for this container orchestration, we have two major uh, platforms available. One is Kubernetes that has uh, less features, but OpenShift is the uh, best container orchestration platform that includes all the features of Kubernetes. In, in addition to that, it has additional features like rich UI, CI, CD, and um, all other uh, features required for managing your container in a uh, container world. Okay. Hope you might have got uh, some idea about containerization and container orchestration and what are all the tools or platforms used for uh, executing your container orchestration strategy, right? 
so if you like this video give a thumbs up and also like uh, uh, share this video to your friends so that they can also get some benefit out of these technologies whatever we are talking and uh, on top of that uh, you can read uh, about all these things whatever we talked here in my LinkedIn newsletter called all about clouds I have provided the link below so you can enjoy reading there as well and please leave your comments so that we can uh, discuss and collaborate here thank you take care bye